Wellness Check. Today's video is about the last phases of EMDR, what to expect after getting through um, the biggest parts of EMDR as a client if you were to come into a therapist's office. So be sure to check out the previous videos. They will explain everything up to this point on what is EMDR like, what to expect, what the different phases are about. Today, we're gonna to be talking about something that's called future template. We're also gonna walk through something called a body scan and talk about how we know if we are done with EMDR. What does that look like and feel like? So just as a quick recap, we talked about what the D in EMDR means. We've talked about what the R in EMDR means, desensitizing and reprocess reprocessing. So once we have successfully gotten through both of those stages, we've worked through the trauma, it's desensitized, your activation level is a zero or a one, we've gone and we've installed positive cognition, everything looks good there, then we go to something called future template. And this is probably my favorite thing to do in EMDR. I do it with almost everybody. It happens in this office almost every day. EMDR is wonderful. Future template is the cherry on top in my opinion. So when we go into future template, what we're asking is, okay, think about the future. Any anticipated event that could happen that previously would have been triggering how do you want to see yourself getting through it? How do you want to manage this? So remember, what was very traumatizing or activating or upsetting is not so much anymore, or maybe not at all. So when we ask this question, we're in a very certain specific type or area of, of treatment. We know that we've desensitized things. So this answer that comes from the client should be pretty easy to navigate, and your therapist will help work you through it as well. So we ask questions like, what is the future anticipated event? I've been using a car accident as an example in most of these videos, so we can just go with that. When you see yourself driving, when you see yourself having to slam on the brakes for some reason, if you see someone carelessly zooming past you, how do you want to see yourself responding in the world around you, but also interpersonally inside? So we're gonna ask questions. We're gonna, I'm gonna ask the client, I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna say, when you see yourself in this event, what is it that you'd like to see yourself doing? This is an opportunity to answer in the most ideal, resilient, positive way possible. Well, I wanna see myself staying confident behind the wheel. I wanna see myself taking deep breaths. I want to see myself remaining focused behind the wheel and being able to talk myself down and say, I am safe, this is okay. All right, so what do you want to see yourself doing? Another question that we're going to ask is, what do you want to believe about yourself while you're doing this? This is an extension off of the last video that included the reprocessing phase, the positive cognition installation. I know I'm slinging big words. Go to the previous video if you wanna learn about it. You've already developed a new positive cognition, right? I can be safe, as safe as I can be behind the wheel. I can be a responsible driver. I have tools to navigate and self-soothe. So you're reporting back to that question of what do I wanna believe about myself as this future anticipated event is happening? And you know with EMDR, we love to tie things into the body. Where do you feel that in your body? What are you noticing in your body? You'll be a pro at it by this time in the treatment. So the follow-up question to that is, where do you want to feel those positive things in your body? And if it's kind of confusing or you're like, I don't really know, one of my tips is wherever you used to feel anxiety, wherever you used to feel the most activated in a negative way, let's point that out and put the positivity in those spaces. So if your hands used to get really tight, or if you had a lump in your throat, if your stomach really feels a lot of the tension and stress, then a way to answer that question would be, I wanna feel the positivity in my stomach, 
in my hands, in my throat, in my heart, in my head. I mean, really, you can report whatever feels best to you. So we're really framing and focusing how you wish to respond should a certain trigger happen again in the future. That's not all. We're going to encode into your nervous system this scene, if you will. So what I'm gonna ask after we finish asking these questions and, and set all of this up, you're gonna play a movie in your mind, in your imagination, playing this through, again, in the most ideal, resilient way possible. So I'll have my client sit across from me, eyes opened or eyes closed. We have the therotappers or we're doing really slow hand movements. <clears throat> and the client is playing a video through. Uh, maybe it starts wherever, wherever it just feels appropriate. Maybe the client starts getting in the car on the way to work in the morning. And before turning on the car, they're envisioning taking a couple deep breaths. Maybe they roll down the windows, it's a beautiful day. Uh, maybe they have their favorite tunes on, on the radio. They're practicing their confidence behind the wheel. They're practicing talking to themselves, this dialogue of, I don't have control over people on the road, but I know I am safe, I know I am responsible when I am behind my wheel of the car, right? So the, the client is really playing this video, kind of going through the scenes, and should something happen, like a trigger, someone stomps on their brakes, someone whizzes by, whatever the situation is, they're including that in the video and working through it in that resilient way while also getting very slow bilateral stimulation, right? Another fancy word to say, this is part of the MDR and this is gonna be helpful. When we're done with this, when the client is done with the video, all they do is just open their eyes, they take a deep breath and they report back what that felt like. And most of the time, it's very pleasant. You'll hear things like, oh, I feel really calm. My body feels really calm. My mind is at rest. I feel excited. I feel really confident. Those are the things that we want to hear with Future Template. If by chance on the rare occasion, someone is doing Future Template and all of a sudden something activating comes up in a negative way, we just simply take a break, we talk about it. If we need to go back into the desensitization phase with it, we will, that's okay, all of it's okay. Every single person's experience with this is different. Um, but if it does come back and it, it's very empowering, you know, we'll play the video through a couple times, we'll really strengthen what I call the feel good of this exercise. And then the very last step of EMDR is another beautiful thing. It's again tied into your body. A lot, a lot, a lot is education about the body when it comes to EMDR. So we've done the future template. We've done as many of them as we need to do in as many different areas of life as they want to do. Then we go into what's called a body scan. You will have been very familiar with this if you're in my office. Um, but a body scan is just closing your eyes for a minute or maybe just keeping them open, looking at a neutral place in the office. And starting from the very top of your head, slowly, 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 all the way down to the tips of your toes, we are looking for any observations. They can be good feelings, and they can also be, actually, I feel like a little tight in the chest right here, like right here when I think about something, when I think about X, Y, Z. Okay, we're going to take note of that. So if it's really positive, we're just going to do a couple body scans. We're going to make sure that everything is out and that you are feeling one, like, like you came 180 degree, or 360 degrees with where we started. All right. So what was extremely activating and stressful and overwhelming, you're able to think about and remember while also feeling at the very least neutral, if not confident and resilient. Okay, so body scan. If there is negative activation somewhere in the body, it's okay. All of it is okay. We're going to take note of it, 
we're going to go through, we're going to desensitize, we're going to just pay attention, we're going to say, okay, that it's in my chest. Okay, let's do a couple sets of desensitization, noticing that sensation in your chest. We'll see if anything comes of it. This is what I call squeezing the lemon. We want to make sure that we get every last drop out. I'm a very thorough clinician, so I don't like to take shortcuts. And it might seem redundant at this point. You're just waiting to go home. We're over. This is done with. But it is important to make sure that we're attending to what the body is coming up with and what the body is saying and how it's communicating. It could be uh, a little splinter. It's what I call like a little splinter of something that we can very easily uh, work with and get desensitized pretty quickly. So hopefully now you have a really good idea of what the, ent the entire process of EMDR looks like from start to finish. Um, it's just such a cool thing. I could talk about it all day long. Today we are talking really, really focusing on future template and the body scan. So if you are looking for an EMDR therapist, that's great. Have them answer any questions or curiosities that you have going into it. It's just so different than your traditional talk therapy. So ask away um, and get as comfortable with the idea and the treatment plan as possible. I hope that this video was informative. I hope that you liked it. And let me know what else that you want to see. And I will include it in my next video. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.